Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to talk a bit on present perfect tense. So in this video, we are going to cover three different topics regarding present perfect tense. Present perfect tense definitions, usage of present perfect tense and formulas of present perfect tense. So let's get started. Important points of present perfect tense. Have and has are used as a helping verb. Every tense has its own helping verb. Like present indefinite tense helping verb is what? To and does. Present continuous tense helping verb is is or am. The same present perfect tense helping verb is have and has. Have is used with the following subjects. We, you, they, I and plural names. Has is used with the following subjects. He, she, it and singular name. Third form of the verb is used like ed at the end. It can be t also. Even it can be its own first form also. But we use third form of the verb. And its contracted form is has not, hasn't, have not, hand. Present perfect tense definition. We use present perfect tense to show an action that happened in the past that is directly related to the present means present perfect tense is used at that time when the actions that has been performed or that happened in the past but it is directly related to the present such as actions that are continuing or that indicate a change over time but it also gets change over time. The present perfect tense deals with actions that happened or started in the past means we use present perfect tense at that time when the actions that happened or started in the past. For example, I have watched this movie before means I have performed this action before means at the past I have watched this movie. He has completed his own work. First usage of present perfect tense. Present perfect tense is used for an action or situation which began in the past and is continuing to the present. Means an action started in the past but still it's ongoing in the present. I have lived in California since 1995. It means I am still living in California or you are still living in California. Second usage of present perfect tense. We use present perfect tense for an action performed during a period that has not finished yet. Like he has been to the tea cafe, a cafe thrice this month. It means the month is not over yet. Third usage of present perfect tense. We use present perfect tense for the repeated action in an unspecified period between the past and present. Like they have visited London multiple times and we have invited them many times. Fourth usage, we use present perfect tense for those actions that was completed in the very recent past. And here we use just, just is used to express it. Just word is used to express those actions. Like we have just completed our assignment. Means we completed this work in a recent past. He has just joined the armed forces. Fifth usage. Present perfect tense is also used to, to denote the change that has occurred over a certain period of time. The school has become more interested in extracurricular activities. French has become one of the most popular courses or course at the school since the foreign language perform was a program was established. Sixth usage. Present perfect tense is used is also used or to done to list the achievements of people and humanity but you can't mention a particular type means here you can't mention that particular time like man has walked on the moon but we don't know that particular time scientists have split the 
atom. Our daughter has learned how to dance. Seventh usage. We use the present perfect tense to tell about an action which we are expecting but has not happened yet. Using the present perfect tense will suggest that you are still waiting for the action to occur. But you means you are still waiting for that action. That that action might happen or may happen. Like John has still not reached the storm has not stopped. Simple formula of present perfect tense. Subject plus helping verb like helping verbs are have and has. Third form of the verb plus object. She has invited us. Now she is what subject. Has is what helping verb means if there is she. So obviously we have to use has. And third form of the verb is used invite is first form second form is invited again third form is invited and ing form is inviting but we here we are using third form so invited and us is object we have done our school assignment negative formula subject plus have and has plus not plus third form of the verb plus object so here we are talking about negative so note is important like they have not attacked a neighboring country. Now they, they is what subject have is helping verb. Note is not obviously it's negative formula. Attacked is third form of the verb. A neighboring country is what object. I have not loved her. Note. Please note that it's clearest to avoid contractions when using the present perfect tense with the negative at least in American English means when you are speaking with american try to avoid contractions for example i have not seen the apple uh, apple tower it's incorrect i have not seen the eiffel tower it's correct interrogative formula have and has subject plus third form of the verb plus object plus question mark interesting is here that interrogative formula we have to use question mark because without question mark that formula can't be interrogative for example have you taken your dinner have is what helping verb you is subject taken is third form of the verb and your dinner is object and at the last we have used in that uh, question mark has he slipped Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you. See in the next video. If this video has sparked your interest, I suggest you request you to like, share and comment. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself.